A top leader of the Tijuana drug cartel has now been placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. $2 million has been offered for his capture. More now from NBC's George Lewis. The newest face on the most wanted list is 33-year-old Ramon Ariano Felix, the enforcer for the Tijuana drug cartel, the executioner. The FBI says it's a family affair. Ramon's brothers are also involved. The Ariano Felix drug cartel, also known as the Tijuana cartel, is considered to be one of the most vicious, ruthless criminal organizations involved in smuggling drugs into the United States. A cartel suspected of a whole string of murders in Mexico and perhaps at least six on the U.S. side of the border. We chose to target Ramon right now because of the fact that he leads the, the enforcement or security wing of this very violent cartel. 30% of the cocaine that makes it into this country comes from the Tijuana cartel. And the organization reaches out for American gunmen as well as drug users. Military veterans, for example, are classic uh, recruits for the cartels because the veterans know how to operate the high-tech weaponry. Mexican officials, like this dead prosecutor, aren't the only targets. Now the cartel has begun threatening American officials, including a prosecutor in the San Diego U.S. Attorney's Office. One prosecutor, uh, one police officer, uh, uh, will be replaced by others so that uh, these threats uh, don't make sense. Perhaps the best weapon in the U.S. arsenal, the $2 million price on the head of Ramon Felix Ariano, money from the U.S. State Department. $2 million is a lot of money. Money talks, and we're hoping our money talks as loud as the Mexican uh, uh, cartel's money. U.S. officials know that the Tijuana cartel has been untouchable south of the border, killing, threatening, intimidating, and bribing officials. Now the Americans hope to counteract that by going after the cartel's chief enforcer. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.